Okay, we're going to review the side control escape. I'll show you in real time, then break it down, and then real time again. Okay, let's go ahead and break this down. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get something in between he, him and myself. So you bring your forearm in front and you're going to grab the shoulder and you want your forearm on his neck. When I do that, if I ask him to push his head down, he starts choking himself. Okay, so he's not going to want to do that. So grab here. Then I'm focused on getting this, this arm out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hip up. As I hip up, this arm comes up as well and it will stay there. It remains up high as I drop my hips away. Now I'm creating some room for this lower leg to come in, bringing the leg, and then I'm just going to extend and be facing him. So let's show it at a three-quarter angle, come over here. All right. So again, I'm coming in here, I'm grabbing the shoulder, my forearm in his throat, I hip up, okay, and the elbow stays there. Now as I hip away, this arm comes through. As it comes through, I post on his hip. That allows me to come in with the lower knee without him coming toward me. So now I'm in here and I'm going to extend out. Okay, so one more time in real time. And there you have side control escape.